okay, right, then increase the vertical, right, the vertical asymptotes are the values of x and are not allowed. As we can see here, when x is 1 and x is 2. So part A, the vertical asymptotes are when x equals 1 and x equals 2. Find the points of the section of the graph, the coordinate axes. Okay, so cuts the y-axis when x equals naught. So y will be 1 over minus 1, minus 4 over minus 2, which is minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. So naught 1 is one coordinate. It cuts the x-axis when y equals naught. So now I'm solving 1 over x minus 1 minus 4 over x minus 2 equals naught. 1 over x minus 1 equals 4 over x minus 2. Plus 1 bracket x minus 2 plus 4 bracket x minus 1. x minus 2 is 4x minus 4. 3x is 2, so x is 2 thirds. So the other coordinate on the axis is that, 2 thirds, 0. Okay, part C. Find the coordinates of the stationary points and classify with some max and min. Okay, so I need to differentiate here. So f of x, rewriting f of x, first of all, then, as if I bring them up on top. Minus 4x minus 2 to minus 1. So f dashed of x is minus x minus 1 to minus 2 plus 4x minus 2 to minus 2, which is minus 1 over x minus 1 squared plus 4 over x minus 2 all squared. So I will solve this equal to 0. I'll take the one term over. Cross multiply. Expand out. Expand the bracket. So that's 3x squared. Bring this over. So that's 4x plus minus 4x equals naught. So x bracket 3x minus 4 equals naught. So I have six points when x is naught or when x is 4 thirds. So if x is naught, I've already done that once, put an x of the naught in there, I get 1 out, so naught 1 is 1 stationary point, and when x is 4 thirds, then f of 4 thirds is 1 over 4 thirds minus 1, minus 4 over Four thirds minus two. So four thirds minus one is a third. That's one over a third. That's three. Minus four over right. Four thirds take away two. So that's four thirds take away six thirds. That's minus two thirds. So minus minus a plus. Flip that over. So that's twelve over two is six. That equals nine. So there's the coordinates of the stationary points but I also want whether they max or min so the easiest way to do it is, is to do the second derivative so f double dash of x differentiate in this line here bring that down to as 2 x minus 1 to minus 3 minus 8 x minus 2 to minus 3 is 2 over x minus 1 cubed minus 8 over x minus 2 cubed. So 
So I'll put naught in. So f double dash of naught is 2 over minus 1 cubed. So that's minus 2 over minus 8 over that's minus 8. So that's minus 2, so that's minus 1. So that's negative. So that's a maximum at naught. So naught 1 is a max and then f double dashed of four thirds that's two over four thirds minus one all curved minus eight over four thirds minus two all curved that's two over right that's one third curved minus eight over minus two thirds and I can see uh, that that's going to be a negative on the bottom, the negative that's positive, this is positive, so that is obviously a positive expression, so that's a minimum at the other term. Okay, so that's the station point, so I want to sketch of the graph, so if I just draw up what I've got. So far, okay, I got vertical asymptotes at one and two. Crossing the axis at naught one and let two thirds naught. I've got a maximum at naught one, so that's a maximum. And I got a minimum at four thirds nine. So that's at four thirds. And that's at nine. We haven't got anything that's happening. I suppose the, the other thing I can do, it hasn't asked me to do it, but I can see, find out what the horizontal asymptotes are. What happens as x tends to infinity? So, as x tends to infinity, f of x is tending to, right, so it's one over infinity minus four over infinity. So they're both naught, right? So that's tending to naught because but because the second one is larger than the other one, that's that's naught from below. So on this graph here it's gonna be tending there. As x tends to minus infinity, f of x is tending to uh, one over minus infinity minus 4 over minus infinity so that's a positive bigger than that so that's going to tend to naught but from above so it's going to be there right so there's no more turning points no more crossing the axes so this will have to go like that this one has to go there there's no more crossing the axes so this will have to come down there so there's the sketch and then part E S is minus one naught so F of S so this is so my domain is minus one naught so it's going from minus one to zero there there's the domain I want to know what the range is so the range here is going to be the two extremes at minus one naught so I need to work out f of minus one so that's one over minus one minus one minus four over minus one minus two so that's minus a half uh, plus four thirds just checking that calculator what that is so four over three take away 1 over 2 is 5 sixths 
and f of naught. I've done that. You can see that from the graph. That's equal to one. So the range then, so f of s, that range is going from five sixths to one. Square brackets because they have square brackets there. The second part, f to minus one of s. That means that I'm going from naught to one on the y-axis. What values of x am I picking up when, when I'm when I'm here? from minus 1 to 0 rather. so minus 1 to 0 so when I'm in that region there what am I getting well I can see I'm picking up a part here and a part there ok so what I now need to do I need to solve f of s equal to minus 1 to get the extremes down here and then I have to well to solve it or not I can get those values off the graph so let, let's solve this um, so I multiply through by x minus 1 x minus 2 so that will be multiplying this by x minus 1 x minus 2 will give me x minus 2 minus 4 bracket x minus 1 equals minus 1 times x minus 1, x minus 2, so x minus 2 minus 4x plus 4 is minus x squared minus 3x plus 2, so that's minus 3x plus 2 is minus x squared plus 3x minus 2, bring it all onto one side, I got x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals naught. That one factorise, so formula, so that's 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 36 minus 4 times 1 times 4, 16, all over 2, 6 plus or minus root 20 over 2, root 20 is root 4 times root 5, that's 2 root 5, root 2, so x, 2 is a common factor, so that's 3 plus root 5, 3 minus root 5. OK, obviously this is the larger one. So when I'm coming across one there, so that there, this one here is at 3, that's 3 plus root 5 at that point, and this one here is 3 minus root 5. So the... When I'm on this range, the domain then, f to minus 1 of s, is from 2 thirds, okay, when I go from there, it's from 2 thirds to that, so 2 thirds to 3 minus root 5, joined together with, from 3 plus root 5, all the way across to infinity.